Hello everyone, I'm Jay Coker, Chairman of the Board of Producers Rice Mill. Uh, we thought we would come to you with some updates on where we are in the growing season like we've been doing periodically the last few years. If you remember, we brought you uh, uh, some information right after the historic flooding that we had in Arkansas about the second week of June where we had anywhere from 15 to 20 inches of rain. A lot of young rice, uh, early developing rice was deeply flooded, uh, much more so than we felt like it could maybe withstand. There was acreage that was lost and wasn't recovered, but overall uh, the rice was pretty resilient and it uh, progressed and has continued to develop to where we think we've got a, a decent potential to, to have a, a normal crop off of some of these acres. As we've discussed about what are the impact, what have the impacts been from uh, the flood back early? Well, uh, this is the exact same field. This is pretty well the same location I was standing in earlier. It had about 12 to 18 inches of water over the top of the rice. The rice was stretched out. Uh, we really weren't sure how that was going to uh, fully develop. Uh, but as you can see, it's progressed uh, very well. Uh, we did talk about delayed maturity might be a factor, and I think we're seeing that now. Uh, this would be the normal development of this crop if it would not have suffered uh, from those, those big impactful rains. So uh, the head is still within the, the plant. Uh, there's about seven days difference between these two uh, situations right here. So we feel like if that uh, is, is all that we've uh, been impacted, that we're, we're pretty fortunate that uh, we're only seven days behind and seem like the crop is developed like it should have. So as, as farmers, uh, when we see our grain, our, our crop develop, and it's at this stage, that's kind of like a, 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 a buzzer goes off in our brain. You know, that's, that's, we're about 45 days from harvest right here. Uh, when that grain, that head fully emerges to get to this point, uh, we're about 30 days away. And then this is rice that is uh, at harvest moisture. So I'll give you an idea of the timelines and how the crop progresses from uh, emergence of the head reproduction to harvest maturity, 45 days. So when we, when we talk about draining our rice fields or a, a flooded rice field, you know, this is what we're looking at. We're about three inches of water. So we'll uh, drain this water off the field to facilitate the drying of the soil for harvest. This water typically is recaptured. We'll use it on other crops, corn, beans. Uh, we'll use it on uh, rice that we're still irrigating. So we basically just move this water from one rice crop to another crop that needs uh, the irrigation water. And if you notice, look how clear and clean this water is. It's a higher quality water than probably what it was when we originally irrigated this field with it. Rice has a natural ability to uh, filter and the sediments settle out. Uh, so it's almost like putting that water through a huge filter. When, when we think about the rice production throughout the growing season, we think of it in four different segments sometimes. Uh, the mid-season segment, which is typically uh, June and part of July, that's when we feel like the grain yield per acre is impacted by those environmental conditions. Once we get into the pollination and the reproductive phase, we feel like that is where our milling yield is impacted. So there's a lot of environmental conditions uh, that we still have to withstand for the next 30 days as this develops and the grain fills. We've already seen that there may be a more active hurricane season again in the Mid-South. Uh, we've already had stink bugs uh, that we've had to deal with that puncture the grain and, uh, and cause a, a, a reduction in milling yield. Uh, believe it or not, we've even had army worms in rice at this stage this year, and that's been uh, very, very unusual. So there's a lot of things that can impact our milling quality. Daytime temperature and nighttime temperatures are huge factors in how the crop develops and how the grains feel. Uh, and it's important that we have good conditions throughout the next 30 days to maximize our grain fill and have uh, uh, the best quality milling yield that we can get.